Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Ford C Max. As you can see, it's in bright red, that's a solid paint, not metallic paint. Um, there's the 16 inch alloys. Uh, really clean looking car inside and out. Um, I'll take you around if I spot anything, I'll point it out, but I couldn't see any defects when I was going around doing the photos that were worth looking at. Really nice in the bright red. It's really, uh, really nice bit of paint on this. You see the rear parking sensors down the bottom there. Huge great boot. We've had the interior of this scrubbed and um, over at the car wash there. They still have the parcel shelf because that's drying out as we speak. And I believe they've got mats as well. So if, if you do pop in and end up buying this, just remind us about these and we'll grab them for you. False floor sort of arrangement there. I couldn't see either the tyre inflation kit. Um, there should be a kit in one of these little compartments here. So I shall source one of those as well. Again, remind me if you come to see the car and it's not there. tears or rips or anything like that. Isofix points as you can see in the two outer rear seats and these are all sort of independent so the, the seats can move independently from each other along the back row there. Good if you've got different sized kids. Decent bit of leg room too. Little cubby hole down there along the 12 volt point as well. The seat belt for the middle one uh, in case you're wondering comes out of the roof there. Much the same this side obviously, just giving you a look at all the seats properly. Passenger airbag over here, in the glove box is the locking wheel nut. And this little spout you have to use if filling the car from a can, Fords are a little bit unusual, they require you to use that as well as a fuel can. Electric windows front and rear, electric mirrors, these are the power folding type as well. So show you those in action. It's all working as they should. There's your lighting controls. Uh, got two keys with it, both original Ford remote locking types. Wiper stock there. Uh, good miles for the year, 83,865 as it sits here today. There's your other stalk there. Then you've got the multifunction steering wheel. So that's audio controls over this side. And your menu controls for your dashboard that side. Uh, I'm unsure if it's got the voice or not, we'll try that. Yes it does. So that's good to have as well. Oh, it's going to talk to me now. See if I can cancel back out of that. We'll just have to let that waffle on in the background because I'm not quite sure how to get out of that menu now that I'm in it. Right, let's have a look at the head unit up 
here then. So CD player, radio, so that's DAB there, um, your traditional radio. Auxiliary, we can have Bluetooth audio if you connect your phone, or just the line in, I think there's USB as well, for the USB as well. And that is where you would pair up your phone. I was doing that from these buttons down here. There's your heating controls. So heated front and rear screen. High speed manual gearbox. 12 volt point. Two cup holders. Manual handbrake. And inside the front armrest, that's your USB and your auxiliary ports there. Up the top, sunglasses holder, well, I think that's just about everything that I can see. Um, if I've forgotten something that you want me to check, please just phone up and we'll pop out and have a look for you straight away. So obviously you're welcome to come down and view the car in person. I'll take as many photos as I can of interior and exterior items as well as any paperwork we have and hopefully that'll give you a good idea of what the car's like in real life. Okay, thank you very much for watching.